So, you know, the rest of more today is very sad about the Bray Wyatt situation from the last 24 hours. I know you worked with him quite a bit. You know, can you give any sort of comment? It's a horrible situation, but could you, could you have any kind of memories of working with him that you could share or, you know, some of the good times you had with him? I'm be real. <laughs> real honest about it. Um, I'm still kind of numb from it. Um, when I think of Bray, all I think about is his laugh and his smile and how no matter what we're doing how excited he was to see me and give me a hug and uh, it uh, doesn't feel real right now but you know it's I've been around a long time and lost a lot of a lot of good friends that's just uh, unfortunately that's just part of getting older I do want to kind of finish uh, talking about you and talk about Wembley. We're here, obviously. Um, how important is it for you to be on the show this Sunday to, to kind of channel your energy in wrestling? How are you feeling? Well, um, <laughs> Jesus, that's an end around. Um, uh, I've got a chance to be on the panel, uh, pre-show panel, which gives me a chance to lend some of my expertise so to speak on the matches that uh, people should really be excited about and pay attention to so I mean every match we have on this all-in card is uh, extremely important um, there's a lot of nuances that I can help point out and that's my job for the panel so um, that's part of being a, a professional and a, a pro wrestler you have to uh, you have to go forward and push through I think uh, once I finally get back home to Tampa, I think uh, a lot of this will settle in. But to be a part of this Wembley show on the panel, to even be here to speak with you all, uh, I'm extremely proud that I can still do that at this stage of my career. Thank you very much. Thank you.